paid and see you there. Uh, so last time, uh, people were talking talking down on my audio. Uh, so i uh, got a microphone. I uh, hope this is better, I, I better um, than last time. Uh, so uh, today's installment of over-engineering things. Uh, we got a bunch of dust on the old desk constantly. I own a dog. Uh, I live in an apartment with probably the world's shittiest filters, you know, the usual, um, just, I mean, just, 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 just take a gander at this and just, whoop. Whoop. and now you're probably thinking to yourself, Jared, why don't you just, oh, I don't know, dust it, or I could also take a leaf blower to it, but I'm not going to do that either. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Plus, that's, that's the whole idea of this, right? We're here to over-engineer things. <laughs> I'm an engineer, so <laughs> why not take simple things and overcomplicate them? It's all going to revolve around this guy here. This is one of the first things I 3D printed. It's just a little bot here. It's, uh, it's a simple little track bot. And it just goes forward. Something goes in front of it. It turns around and goes the other thing. This thing scares the crap out of my dog. It's hilarious. But it's impractical. What am I going to do with it? Obviously stick it on my desk and stick a Swiffer to it and program it to beautifully dust my desk. Uh, so uh, let's break that down. This is the Smars robot. This is something you can find on Thingiverse. It's pretty versatile. It's pretty compact. It's a good building block. So it's pretty simple. It's got two uh, small little RC motors uh, that power it. Um, it's got an Arduino Uno as the base and a uh, motor shield for the top. So it's pretty simple to uh, operate. Um, and this is a simple ultrasonic sensor, which allows you to tell if you're close to anything. So um, there's three main things that uh, this needs for it to work. So first is something I already fixed. Uh, out of the gate, it's a little too fast and turns around a little too hard. So I went ahead and fixed that. Um, so now it goes a more reasonable speed we want to see. Um, next is the big issue, which is it has a way of not running into things, but it doesn't have a way of stopping it from falling off the edge. So ideally, we'd want something... Uh, like this, used it in my last build. It's a simple IR sensor. And then lastly, uh, we'd probably want something to dust the actual surface. So I had two, theor two thoughts, not theories. Uh, either I could go with a microfiber towel or I could go with a, uh, hmm. Swiffer, there we go. <laughs> uh, Swiffer has a simple uh, two prongs and you just slide it on. So ideally we would cut a sliver of either of these and then be able to hot swap it on the front of the robot. Um, I think I decided to opt for, yeah, I decided to opt for the, um, the microfiber towel uh, just because this seems a little messy and probably get caught up in the gears. Alrighty, so with some simple code, we have uh, the IR sensor hooked up here. Uh, if we still wanted to, it can run into something and turn around. Uh, or we have the sensor that if it rolls off the edge, it will also back up and turn around. So uh, now we just need to get this buttoned onto here um, and see if we possibly need two of these. We got it all set up here, all wired up and all mounted. Um, let's go ahead and turn it on. So, so far it looks pretty good, but it looks like we will need to because of this. All right, now theoretically, I have both of these installed, so it should work for a shot. Let's find out. Good. Now the fun begins. I mean, if we're talking apples, how about them? What are you doing? Oh, how about them apples? 
All right, so with this all working from a maneuverability standpoint, um, I was thinking about originally putting the duster in the front because it would make more sense for it dusting in front, but with all the sensors in the way, I don't think you could really get that. So I'm going to use the existing uh, mount that it has back here um, to put a bit of a sweeper in the back. Um, I was looking online at some uh, just some simple sanding blocks and you can take a simple idea like this where you're just got a simple shape and you're just jamming you're wedging a piece of plastic in there uh, I think this would work great I could just cut some strips of uh, of microfiber towel and then just wedge it around there and then I just need to make some sort of connector and and it should all work so let's uh, get that made based with a little bit of uh, 3d printing and 3d modeling magic we have a simple little sweeper that we can just put on the back just clips on in and what's nice is it can just use gravity to keep itself down and just drag it along which will be nice um, it might have some resistance backing up so I might need to play around with that but I think we can go test this out good get those crumbs Anywho, I think this thing turned out pretty well. Uh, does a good job of cleaning everything. I really like this detachable aspect of it. Um, I really would love to make another video where I just make a bunch of useful but also silly attachments for this. Um, but we can say mission success. For now, we'll let this little man get back to work. <laughs>